Welcome to Module 1, AWS Cloud Benefits. In this module, we will cover the knowledge around value proposition of the AWS Cloud and the skills you'll develop to leverage its advantages such as Understanding the economies of scale, such as cost savings Understanding the benefits of global infrastructure, such as speed of deployment and global reach Understanding the advantages of high availability, elasticity, and agility Let's begin with the definition of cloud computing. If you're attempting to look up the cloud computing definition on Cambridge Dictionary, please refrain from doing so. The AWS cloud computing definition entails the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet, featuring pay-as-you-go pricing. Rather than buying, owning and maintaining physical data centers and servers, you have the option to utilize IT resources and technology services, such as computing power, storage, and databases, on a per-need basis from a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services. To understand cloud computing, let's take a step back and talk about cloud computing evolution. The journey began with the mainframe era. The mainframes rules the computing world in the mid-20th century, offering centralized computing on large machines running monolithic applications and using green screen or dump terminals for user interactions. Mainframes optimized utilization of computing resources but has limited accessibility and expensive. Next, we step into the PC era of the 1980s and 1990s. This era saw the rise of personal computers, decentralizing computing power and empowering individuals. PC optimized for agility but lack of standardization and centralized control. Moving forward, we enter the client-server era. This period, spanning from the 1980s to the early 2000s, introduced distributed computing using client-server architecture. It enhanced collaboration, improved IT resources sharing, network computing transition, the rise of relational database and GUI interface. Unfortunately, it created maintenance complexity, high cost of hardware and software. Now, we arrive at the web services era from the 2000s to 2010s. Web-based services, APIs, and virtualization emerged as key components of this era. It offers flexibility, scalability, accessibility, rise of cloud services, virtualization and containerization but comes with challenges of security and privacy concerns as well as complex integration. Finally, we reach the cloud computing era, which began in the 2010s and continues to shape our technological landscape. Cloud computing offers scalable, on-demand, microservices and shared computing resources over the internet. While it allows you to have flexibility, scalability and cost efficiency, there are some concerns and issues related to security and data privacy. Virtualization, pay-as-you-go model, on-demand provisioning and elasticity are some of the key highlights of cloud computing. This slide contains a summary of the evolution of cloud computing. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to delve deeper into the details. Now that you have a solid understanding of what cloud computing entails, let's delve into the benefits and advantages of AWS Cloud. There are seven key advantages, pay-as-you-go, economics of scale, agility, elasticity, cost savings, deploy globally in minutes and high availability. These aspects highlight the strengths and advantages that AWS Cloud brings to the table. Before delving into the benefits and advantages of the AWS Cloud, let's take a step back and draw a comparison between cloud computing and traditional data centers. To illustrate this, let's consider the scenario of owning a company named Stark Industries, specializing in advanced weapon manufacturing. As Stark Industries prepares to launch its business, there's a need to acquire essential business applications, including computer-aided design, CAD, software, essential for creating 2D drawings or 3D models, customer relationship management, CRM, application, vital for managing customer interactions and relationships, database application, necessary for efficient data management, office application, encompassing email, calendar, and more for seamless office operations. In the traditional approach to using these softwares, the first step involves constructing a dedicated physical data center. Following that, you acquire a couple of data center racks, which serve as the infrastructure for mounting and installing the necessary hardware. 
Subsequently, the installation of cable trunks becomes imperative to establish the essential connections between these racks. You have forecasted that you'll require two servers to run these applications. Additionally, a couple of storage units are essential for securely storing your data. Furthermore, data center networking components are necessary to establish connections between your servers and storage hardware. Finally, an uninterruptible power supply, UPS, is crucial as a power backup solution in case of a power outage. After setting up your hardware, the next step involves installing the applications. However, before proceeding with the application installation, it is necessary to install the operating system. Following that, proceed with the installation of the CAD software. Subsequently, initiate the installation of the CRM software. Next in line, install the database software. Concluding the process, proceed to install the Office application software. Finally, ensure users can access the business applications by establishing local network connectivity. After a couple of weeks, you've observed that you are experiencing a shortage of servers and storage capacity. Consequently, the need arises to acquire additional servers. Additionally, invest in more data center networking equipment. Expand storage capacity by procuring additional storage units. Lastly, secure more power supply and UPS to meet the growing demands. As your business expands, within just a few months, you find yourself facing a shortage of storage capacity. Unfortunately, there is no available rack space left for additional storage hardware. To address this, the next step involves acquiring new racks. Subsequently, connect these new racks with the existing ones. Following that, procure new storage units. Lastly, invest in additional data center networking infrastructure. Having gained insight into the challenges of maintaining and consistently upgrading your data center to meet user requirements, this is where cloud computing becomes a game changer. You have the option now to streamline your operations by shutting down your data center and seamlessly migrating your servers, databases, storage and applications to the cloud. You can leverage a spectrum of cloud computing resources, spanning compute power, databases, storage, applications, and more, all hosted in the AWS cloud. Users can conveniently access these IT resources over the internet. These IT resources operate on an on-demand basis. If you require more compute resources, with just a couple of clicks, you can effortlessly provision additional compute resources. Similarly, should the need arise for additional NoSQL databases, you can easily provision the service. Considering on-demand object storage? No problem, provisioning additional storage is just as straightforward. Moreover, for office applications, rather than investing in on-premise solutions, you can opt for software as a service, SaaS, such as Microsoft O365. Similarly, for your CRM application, instead of migrating to the cloud, you can seamlessly replace and subscribe to services like Salesforce. By now, you should have a solid grasp of the benefits and advantages of cloud computing compared to traditional data centers. Let's delve into the specific benefits of AWS Cloud, beginning with pay as you go. In a traditional data center, the model involves purchasing, owning, and maintaining physical infrastructure, including data centers, servers, storage, and applications. Typically, in such setups, IT resources are often underutilized or left idle due to overprovisioning. Contrastingly, in cloud computing, you only incur charges for compute, database, and storage resources when actively using them. Moreover, you pay for precisely the amount you consume, with billing granularity down to hours, minutes, and even seconds. The second benefit is derived from the concept of economies of scale. This involves the significant reduction in infrastructure costs, made possible by spreading these expenses across a vast network of hundreds of thousands of AWS customers. The outcome is a noticeable decrease in pay-as-you-go prices, a direct result of the enhanced economies of scale. Economies of scale plays a pivotal role, creating a virtuous circle within the AWS ecosystem. Each day, 
AWS consistently attracts new customers from over 190 countries, expanding its customer base. This increasing user count leads to higher AWS usage, prompting the construction of more infrastructure. As the infrastructure scales up, AWS gains the advantages of economies of scale. At its strategically reducing infrastructure costs. Leveraging these economies of scale allows AWS to implement cost savings measures strategically, with the resulting reductions in costs passed back to customers through price reductions. As prices decrease, AWS maintains its commitment to enhancing and innovating new services at a reduced cost, a strategy that continues to attract more customers into this dynamic cycle of growth and innovation. The next benefit is agility. With cloud computing, IT resources are just a click away, drastically reducing resource provisioning time from weeks to mere minutes. This enhancement in agility empowers organizations to engage in rapid experimentation, test ideas swiftly, enhance customer experiences, and undergo seamless business transformation. Contrastingly, in a traditional data center scenario, the process of purchasing, installing, and implementing physical infrastructure, including data centers, servers, storage, and applications, is a time-consuming endeavor. It can take weeks and even months before these IT resources are ready for innovation. In the realm of cloud computing, IT resources are accessible with just a click. This accessibility significantly amplifies organizational agility, facilitating swift experimentation. Quick idea testing becomes a reality. Improving customer experiences becomes an achievable goal. Business transformation is streamlined and expedited. The subsequent benefit is elasticity. In cloud computing, you have the flexibility to provision precisely the amount of resources you require and can scale up or down instantly as your business demands evolve. This eliminates the need for guesswork and capacity planning, preventing resource waste and ensuring optimal efficiency. In a traditional data center context, overestimating server capacity often results in resource waste. Underestimating server capacity can lead to a poor customer experience. In the realm of cloud computing, instant scalability allows for adapting to changing business demands. There's no need for guesswork in capacity planning. Resource waste is minimized, ensuring efficiency in resource utilization. The subsequent benefit is cost savings. With cloud computing, you can direct your focus toward business differentiation rather than the intricacies of data center maintenance. By trading capital expenditure or CapEx for operational expenditure or OPEX, you only incur expenses for IT resources as you consume them, eliminating the burden of racking, stacking, and powering physical infrastructure. In a traditional data center scenario, engaging in the heavy lifting of racking, stacking, and powering physical infrastructure proceeds understanding how these resources will be used. The upfront investment involves a fixed capital expense or capex. In the realm of cloud computing, the emphasis is on enhancing business differentiation. Expenses are incurred as monthly variable operational expenses or OPEX based on consumption, avoiding hefty upfront investments. The subsequent benefit is deploy globally in minutes. You can easily deploy and extend your application's reach to multiple regions worldwide with just a few clicks. This capability ensures the provision of lower latency and an enhanced experience for your customers, all achieved at minimal cost. To illustrate this, consider a scenario where you run a successful e-commerce business in Singapore, utilizing AWS cloud services to power your e-commerce business application. You've constructed a resilient e-commerce application and database, utilizing Amazon EC2, Amazon EBS, and Amazon RDS in AWS Cloud in Singapore. To enhance reliability, you've incorporated redundancy, employed AWS DNS services, implemented a web firewall application, and utilized elastic load balancing. Now, with your business experiencing growth, you're strategizing the expansion of your e-commerce operations into the European market. To meet governmental and regulatory requirements, hosting your application in the region becomes imperative. Utilizing AWS cloud services empowers you to go global in a matter of minutes. You've chosen to host your e-commerce business application in Europe, specifically in Frankfurt, Germany. All it takes is replicating your AWS cloud infrastructure setup from Singapore to Frankfurt, 
Germany within a few minutes. The final AWS cloud benefits and advantages is high availability, harness the extensive global cloud infrastructure of AWS, employing the AWS region and availability zone model to ensure the high availability of enterprise applications. As you recalled, your initial e-commerce business was set up in the AWS Singapore Region Data Center. Now, what if there's an outage in the AWS Singapore Region Data Center due to an unexpected event like a fire, flood, or other natural disaster? Running your e-commerce business application in a single building poses risks, as a single building can fail for a variety of unavoidable reasons. Fortunately, each AWS region comprises multiple availability zones or OZs. An availability zone is a single data center or a group of data centers within a region. These OZs are strategically located tens of miles apart from each other, maintaining low latency for efficient communication. However, in the unfortunate event of a disaster in one part of the region, the significant distance between OZs significantly reduces the likelihood that multiple OZs are simultaneously affected. As a best practice, AWS strongly recommends operating across a minimum of two availability zones in a region. This involves redundantly deploying your infrastructure in two distinct OSs. In the unfortunate event of a disaster, your application remains operational as the impact is limited to some of your capacity, not all. Additionally, you can swiftly scale up additional capacity in the remaining availability zones to maintain resilience and continuity. This slide contains a summary of the AWS cloud benefits and advantages. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to delve deeper into the details. Congratulations! You have completed Module 1 AWS Cloud Benefits.